Jomi kebeberu je emet ab Australia bendi agenga agenge oi kebeber tan ba Olimba emet ab Western Australia kitinda ye betut ab rani a memorial service nebo tupche niat natak akimuch kolet sabet in kenyit ab 2021 in kebeber tan ba Western Australia so kimwae pole ko kita ko tugul chebo emet ab Australia bi kemi ole ba delight bi kemi ole ba Melbourne bi kemi ole ba Sydney na ogereng ta ya ko igarto ne ba memorial service ne ba tupche nyo na tak pran ki pia ko tireita tike mwa pole a ki mwa jini family ak bi tugul kung ta ga inek chengirnge ne ba indi sugo ta ga de memorial service in ke ba berta ne ba ole ba Western Australia hongi ata sta ga isu ka moja tike ata sta ga saaji family ne tike ata sta ga bad family and a certa and no one so moja kwa moja ago limbo kebeberta western australia to get a star of memorial service the batu genio nata brian akipiago tirito I hope it will be worse than I can ask you. I don't think that those who are competing with the right promises so that they do give you a complete check. So let's try to move the promises so that those who are playing with the
Nogere na hodi chini kwa nwa nwa kumi ya tegede bertani kwa mbali ni kwesta nchini. Nisa kwa kwa memorial service na kutu chini ya na kwa prime chipe kwa tireito. Nimo kwa vet sa vet inge ni kwenye kwa mbali ni kwesta nchini. Kwa tu ya bintu kwa bintu kwa chipe chini kwa bintu kwa chipe kwa mbali ni kwa nchini yangu bintu taban. Kai sautik ada memorial service dengan ini seta. Kau tu lihat kau yang tu itu kau jelah kau itu keberapa. Kau ni sama ni kipti ni kau kipti association kau ni seta. Western Australia nak tak Steve City ni. Kau ni kau tu ini ni kau ni seta nama. Kau tu di shop sah kau ni. Kau ni refer dah hilari. Kau yang tu itu kau jelah kau itu keberapa. Kau beras lagi mahu di pola tu jenya tak cuma nubah kadi sako dan ni ni teach. Entah family tu aktor no coba. Nata kau logo bet sebet Afran kipia kau tirita. So sapa utawa tim tiktok jom ni kau beri mereka Facebook tiktok YouTube. Kau di sini anda kisah sedih aku ini anda tunggu di tega aku tak kau sih pola. Entah ini insan kau pun tak kau tu kau anggota. Kerwa Junior, Helen Sana, anggota sebut cawan the way from Sydney, Brian Kipiago, Mai Pole, Jacqueline Aselem, Tabita Kikoya, Ristin Bis, Asan Deni Sana, Munaona, Moja Kwa Moja, Nupija, ya Memorial Service, and the way to Brian Kipiago, by Alweza Kipoteza Maisha Yake, Kutoka Kwa Hachali, Abra Barani, Sikia Leo, Yungozi, Jamii na familia wamekutana maeneo ya Western Australia ili wamfishe kwa heri kisha watasindikiza yeye hadi pale nyumbani Kenya baada taenda kupata awamu yake ya mwisho. So kama marafiki ya jamii kama watu wa community tunasema pole tuendelee ku encourage tuendelee tuombe familia kwa siku ya leo siku ya leo tunapata moja kwa moja kutoka upande ya Western Australia kwa katika maombi ya kusindikiza ndugu yetu Brian Kibiego Tireita ambaye aliweza kuotesha maisha yake kutoka achali ya barabarani siku ya leo jamii na askofu bishop sako ngai kiongoza upande wa Western Australia pole ni familia tufuatilia hadi tamati Yes, no.
yeah, we have karma. Karma causes this decomposing of the body. But the Lord, we are invited to the Lord. Full of obedience, full of repentance for God in the mighty name of Jesus. As to you, the Lord, He takes you up the way of God. He comes in the way of God. Take up karma. Father, you are the hope of God in the mighty name of Jesus. This time, God, we are asking for your strength for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, this time, oh God, we give you the blessing. We give you something that the Lord is subject to your Lord. This is a great blindness, life, oh God. We are asking you, the Lord, to come through for us, oh God. Father, come and have your way, Lord. We have no energy, Lord. As a nation, as a people, as a country, God, oh your Lord, as Kenyans, Lord, as a community, oh Lord. Lord, we are trusting you, Lord. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy to the very body. We thank you not for your love to so unconditional. We thank you not for your peace, O God, to surpass the human understanding. We thank you, Father, for God, for consoling us, O God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness, O God. We thank you, Father, for what you are doing for us. We thank you for your gentleness. We thank you for your goodness, O God. Thank you for your kindness. Lord, we thank you for everything which you have done. Which you are doing and which are yet to do. We bless the community, Father. Take over, Lord. Come and have your way. Father, we invite your presence to come to be with us, O God. As every activity which is going to take place in this house and this church, O God. Lord, we invite your presence to come and be with us, O God. Guide us and lead us, O God, because you are good. Come everything at you, O God. And we are Lord, we encourage, O God, the families, O God. Father, we be thankful for God. Lord, your Lord is not easy, but your Lord, we are trusting you, O God, for the strength of God. Even those who are back in here, O God, we are trusting you upon their lives, O God, upon them, O God, and the mighty name of Jesus. It is not easy. Father, have your way, have your way, and grant the Father those who are not mine. Father, we thank you for everything, O God. Take over, take over, Lord. We surrender all to you. We dedicate everything unto you, O God. Lord, take over, take over, Father. We trust you. May we be here, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We are grateful, Father, for being here by all the other people who are coming from the day. We are the Lord, we are blessed with the comfort of God as they come. We are Lord, give them mercy to God. So that we can be the night of the Lord and one of the mercy of God as we celebrate life and life. Lord bless us, O God, in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, O God. We trust you and we worship you, Father, because in number of you, O God, we exalt you and we are going to run out of all any part and we bless your holy name. Lord, we acknowledge your ways in our power as our home and as our maker. Lord, have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are trusting you. We say thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Nazakai. Yeah. This part of our family is come to the front to the left of the right of the front 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 of the the front of 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 Thank you. 
I thank you for taking a seat as I was about to say that. And the position goes on also because we take advantage of that and how I feel as a for those who have time to do that. At the same time, I want to welcome those who come to the meeting. Please welcome. Yeah. We will call upon the 
to send individuals to be doing their speeches. We have family members, three of them, then we have two friends, then we also have a lawyer. So, system, this two are sending school. Once again, I will request all of us to turn up with humility as we sing the song Buona Yuse Eme Yango. Nothing number two. Buona Yuse Eme Yango. Buona Yuse Eme Yango. Thank you for your leadership, uh, the spearhead of the meetings and funding 
discussions and even political transitions and strategies along that. So we really appreciate you for spending this role with us. Daniel, we thank you as well for standing for us as a family, not as situations and decisions, organizing back home and back home meetings. We really thank you and appreciate you for that. Uh, for our family, we are watching back home, we are watching online. Um, I just don't have the right words to say to all of you, but uh, just to let you know that we do care. We pray for you during these difficult moments and um, that you may have that peace from God. As uh, Brian uh, texted each other, he finally said that you may have peace and peace uh, in the world. Um, so, uh, we are going to Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we wish you a nice night and uh, we pray that uh, this comes for us and this will be the second year. Let's suppose I'm going to be a nice night. Um, I'm going to be a nice night. 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 opportunity to give thanks to God, one, giving us the strength to be here and to bear with and to whatever has fallen us as a family. And in that moment, again, give all thanks to you as our friends who stood with us in so many ways. Um, when Brian was involved in this accident, uh, Daniel received a call from home. And apparently, the police were not able to capture the nearest person with Brian. And in their own uh, magic way, they Found the number of his brother back home and they called him, informing him that this has happened. And then the phone comes back from Kenya to Daniel, uh, the friend's number. And he did this. It was on a Sunday morning. And I was going to 
I'm like that to pray. When things like this happen, you feel to the depth of your soul, the loss that has come. And in that moment, I told my wife, who is just sitting in front of my and share the message, and that's what well other friends who uh, kept calling me back for I really appreciate um, it. It happened again that that time was a fellowship time, so finding most of us who would be fellowship on a Sunday was a bit easy. And so we uh, kind of interacted together and uh, to take down what to do, uh, really to verify that that match there. When things have gone since then, up to now, and um, I'm so glad that we have a family in Western Australia that we have a life. Um, there is so much to be said about running, yet there is so little to really um, fill it up. And in that sense, I would like to share two things about God. When he first came in, he stayed with us. We hosted him in our family home um, for like two months before he settled uh, adapting the devices where he was studying. And in that brief moment, we saw much about him. Having all his parents about we didn't know that he had come to a point of uh, you know, completing his uh, high school study. But I was told that I'm oh, right now because I am in the middle of the It was kind of a Who do you please let me talk about it so that when I'm really receiving it on the iPad, I don't get to the feet. Because you see someone like I saw him when I was told. So we went on that. Funny enough, he came to Western Australia on a Sunday and he died on a Sunday. Ryan lived a brief, I would say, a short but a very brief life. That gentleman you see down there is full of humor, but a humor that is so hidden, it only comes out to the few that you will trust. And I think every one of us who would have interacted with Brian would bear testimony that Brian had a good heart, that Brian loved children. He loved Vishma so much. I know. He's taking himself. His brevity became so apparent to me when in the past week, and I think this is what I was sharing this um, session, when he was looking for days old, he had just the form a simple one. And he wanted to change the form, but he couldn't tell me that. So he was kind of afraid to tell me that uh, I've sat on um, John Tree and I've found somebody who's selling a phone. Why did we leave that part by the way? And I said to him, to show that he's bread, he went to like four kilometers away from home, following Google Maps. This is a new person in Australia trying to find someone who has told him that I could have phone and I'm selling an iPhone that he didn't want to. So I went across Mount Avenue, jumped through you know, the green uh, bridge on uh, Red Highway, and 
came over to pray. He collected the phone at 3 p.m. and came home. So I was still doing my studies down there, and then he comes in. I'm like, Jomban, I'm like, man, you're new. We must to work. So this is what I did. Please, right? Next time you want to do such, please consult because even that very simple budget you're saying that it's stolen or something, you know? But somehow, with myself, I was so cautious. But Brian came with that breathless of Yulet Yamamon Takunichi. And he was ready to do it just to make his life progress. The second thing that you did that Brian was going to make was the ability to connect vehicles as a new person, you know, using buses, public transport, and just move out doing tasks. Using an old aircraft. Less of you that. Yeah. Many of us would have waited for someone else to elect us the company and then, uh, you know, find a good job and, you know, blah. Blah. I assisted him quite a tear, and after that, he was flying. He was flying. But there came a time in his life when that passed on. And I say this to bring in a point that you stood as a community, as parents, showing solidarity for their love. Because Brian is involved in the last years. A small person who really when he was very young, actually at the age of breastfeeding, life was his head. And there was this time when that passed on, Brian sort of practiced with his head. I'm saying that to reflect one point here that as a community, let's Learn to share our values. We are never always wrong. Life may not always happen. Things will go haywire. Some problem comes is when you don't suffer to live on. The brand we are doing this in Britain is that confessed one thing that when he was told that that is gone. He confessed that before us in a fellowship that we had. And we came as men to encourage my dad. And every other time I would call him, Uncle, where are you? How are you feeling? And in this instance, really, I want to appreciate his employer who came through at a point when Brian was broken. And you know, kind of having um, that kind of depressed, you know, um, season. For those years that he went in employment, he came home as a clean man, came home as a courageous man again, and we could see his attitude to look forward positively, having that. Unfortunately, the Lord called him home. We will say pretty much well. He had so much to accomplish. He had so much hope in himself. The last time when he knew that we had a new baby, he wrote me in a, a message I'm coming home to see the baby. Two months into that, that is when. Friends and family, let's stay encouraged. That even though life is brief, we may leave our purposes on a daily basis. We don't have forever to spend. We just have a minute to spare for you this moment. 
The word of the Lord encourages me by saying, That which you want to be done, do ye also to others. This is done to us. We will sure to be so. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. So before we progress to the next ceremony, I have called a few of his friends to speak to us. I want to tell us a story about what happened. I have to be very happy for those who are watching us from home.
and this shows that the Prior, those who are here, those who are overseas, a representative of the Kenyan High Commission in Australia, Misha, the President of the Kenyan Community in Western Australia, Mr. Vincent Rosita, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. I know we are here for a very sad occasion which shakes us to the core. But one thing I'm really encouraging is the kind of unity that we have. As people who knew Brian, for those who didn't know that he came here today to us to mourn him and celebrate his life with his family. I want to start by conveying my heartfelt condolence. That of my family and that of Kitwek Association. I want to convey these condolences to the family on the loss of your beloved brother. This is a very difficult time, and I pray that the Lord will comfort you. And especially the family which is home, I want to say, Lady Sana, I can imagine how difficult it is. When your loved one is passed away, has passed away, far away, as Nelson of say, and you don't even know when it's going to arrive. So, the family members back home want to say, for their son, and may God give you the strength and courage to continue. Today is a very sad moment. It's a very sad day in so many ways. Because we are gathered here today because of one of us who came to you a while back. Brian came here a few years ago and his family was very excited that one of their sons has gone overseas to look for you know, a better life for himself. I'm sure there was a celebration back home. I'm sure people were so excited that our son is going overseas. But today we are here mourning because he has not lived long enough to see that success, to celebrate and make a difference in his family in a long way, in a better way. So I know it's a very sad moment, and I want us to take time to reflect. I know this is a city that our beloved Brian lived. He might have walked in some of the streets that you guys are walking on. He might have driven on the roads that you guys have driven on. But here we are today, mourning him because we lost him. So I want us to take time to reflect and know that life is very short. It can be extremely short. And especially the friends who were with Brian that night. When Brian said, I'm going out to see friends. And then the following day, you hear that Brian is gone. That, you know, it gives us a somber reflection about our lives. To know that we are living a very short life. We have it today, and we don't have it tomorrow. So it's always good to do good to others. We've had a very good testimony about Brian, from the uncle, from the friends. But it's not about Brian anymore, because Brian is gone. It's all about ourselves now. How are we going to take those lessons, to reflect those lessons on our personal lives? When I was told of 
brand is passing. As then rightly said, they call me on that fateful Jamhuri Day. Jamhuri Day, for those who don't know, is, uh, is our Kenyan Independence Day. So it was a Kenyan Independence Day, and we take time as Kenyans here as well. Even if we are not in Kenya, we take time to think about the Independence Day. And on that morning, then called and told me about uh, the accident which happened in the Arabia, Thomas Road. I was really shocked, especially when he said he's a Kenyan, and he happens to be a Kenyan that probably I might even know where he comes from, because where I, where I got, well, where my wife comes from is very close to where, where Brian's home is. So when he explained to me, this made me very sad, because he was someone who was very close to a place I know. But again, when Ben told me, I made a decision to contact our Kenya president, this year today, uh, Vincent, and told him about it, and all the other community leaders. And within a very short time, we had a, a small group of leaders, and we decided that we are going to do this and do it to the best of our ability, because this is something very difficult. We cannot be done with So this afternoon, I'm going to pay a special tribute to our Kenya president, Vincent, we really appreciate your blessing with this. You've grounded us as Kenyans. You've come together as Kenyans. And not only Kenyans, but Australians as well. And we've seen a lot of support. We've seen a lot of cooperation. Not only in Western Australia, but in Western Australia. And we've seen a lot of support. If you can see the slides, you have been running. We've seen a lot of support. 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 we have So let us try as much as possible to be part of a community, be part of a group that people can identify you with, so that you can be able to be assisted and people can know who you are because you'll be contributing to the community. So without any much ado, I want to um, invite the community leaders because I've been given uh, that responsibility to organize that section. Uh, I am not sure whether all of them are here. We have a few community groups which are going in Western Australia, and I want to acknowledge their efforts, and I want to really appreciate them. The first person I want to invite is uh, Mark Emitati. He's Mark here from Nuremberg in Western Australia, Liwa. Mark, if you are there for your representative. If Mark is not there, I will invite Joseph Uno on behalf of Rumwe in Western Australia. Is Joseph here? Welcome, Joseph. You want to say a word? As Joseph is coming, I want to get ready. I'm still the boy from Lucy. I'm ready to say, Shelly, I'm going to be a boy And before I give to Joseph, I think I'm going to see the followers of Oman from the edge of the top of the YouTube group. And again, I think I 
Thank you, Steve, and thank you for even attempting that language, which I can 
just that it's not easier to apply for this one. Try. Um, Mark, Mark Editati, the chairman of Lima, please. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Steve. The other Steve and Joseph. So I think you guys have come and summarized everything. Uh, so the members of the Kenyan community, uh, the church, Father uh, Darius, Father uh, Darius, Father Cyprian, um, the community leaders that are all here, and also the Kenyan Kenyans at large, uh, Hamjaboni. Yeah. Uh, my name, as you've heard, is Mark Ebitachi. I'm the chairman of um, EMIWA, which is the Mulembe in Western Australia which means peace, yeah. Yeah, so you guys amaze me. So Kenyans amaze me. So I'll say as Australia, we've lost a young man. Australia has lost a productive person. And uh, as a Kenyan community, we've lost a family. Yeah, normally say everybody comes here by themselves, uh, but then by the time you spend a few years here, and by the time you're on your journey, you know so many people and you create that social group and social capital. And for the last few weeks, I could see what Kenyans have done, what the community has done, what the African the Africans have done, and also the Australians themselves. Um, this shows the passion that we have for life, the passion we have uh, to create our own journey and also to create our own uh, communities. Um, my predecessors and also the people who've been here before me, they mentioned it over and over again, let's belong. And I think that's the most important thing, let's belong somewhere. Uh, so for the last year, we've had so many things happening in our uh, in Western Australia. For the last year, we've had uh, good things happening at the same time. We've seen the growth, the bigger community group, and we've seen the growth in the coming year. And that's what it was for us all together. And I'll say to my friend here, Steve, my brother, Steve, and the rest of the team, and also the PhD that we've been seeing, uh, we've been working together at all. Bring it up, bring it up together. And you can tell what the impact was in the last year. And the family, Brian, I think sustained by the middle of the month. Um, but what I can reassure you, what I can reinforce to you, is that the community at large, Kenyans are here for you. And on behalf of my viewer group, as they passed their condolences, and they told me to give you all it about the family and the family back home. Um, but we've done well. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we got bless you all. And for Lady Sana for the family and back home. Thank you so much. Um, is there anyone from the Amelio Association, the chairperson from Amelio? Okay, we do a
So I just want to make a Finishing my segment, I want to invite our president of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not getting time. I'll speak to Brian. Brian, I'm facing this. Was I there to Brian? No, was I not there? And the journey has come to an end for Brian. Brian, you are a humble, uh, quiet young man. And when I met you, we could spend time sitting together, saying a lot of nothing. Then we could say one word, then we could but we, we just enjoyed that. From now, Brian, uh, that coffee will be a transport. The grave down in Musingishu County, your home. These people, Brian, all of us, we won't see you again. We won't see your beautiful smile. And the way you used to just to like yeah, people, you won't see it again. Your name will only remain in our memories. I say this with a lot of pain in my heart because this is a member of the community passing away when I'm the president. I feel like most, not just a friend, but just a family that came in my life. I have lost a member of the community. Um, I want, want to say that we want to believe that it's the plans and decision of God that Brian passed on. And it's hard sometimes to understand God's decision. But we take it anyway. So, Brian, this moment I just want to, as I wonder why and how, 
the day was chosen for you to pass on the floor of December. I want to believe and hope that on that fateful morning, you have a chance to talk to God, even in that one second. That is, as I hope that you have a conversation, I want to believe that we will meet and you will tell us what happened because we don't know. The family back at home will you create the same time in the home. We will pray and pray and pray for our But what we do is we do going to God. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, uh, our high commission, who is the Lord here and the staff and the foreign council. Um, for the support they have shown us in the community. They have really given our hands and we will receive them to take us through this uh, uh, journey just to say that uh, at this moment we are so much appreciated for them. As I want to just uh, sit down, I just want to appreciate the Kenyan uh, community, uh, the case that we leadership. And I believe some of them are here. They can just stand up for the for the that um, even as he said back home, I will not repeat what Steve and Mark and the other Steve have said. Uh, I believe we'll find out what I'm about that. But let us keep praying for the family back at home that they will receive Brian and give him the same. God bless you so much. Thank you, Mr. President. Just check with me. Um, the Kenya Council is present. Amisha. Is Amisha. Someone? No. Okay, I want to call upon the two church leaders, Father Hilary and Father Shiko Koji. Is there? Is Father Hilary? No. Now, Father Shikokoti, the word of the Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Thank you.
child, from those heavens, finally peace, at night. But you're holding into a peace that has no need. And you speak so much, and you hope someone will come for you. Or you see a ghost that comes and wants to take you. We fear the process of death. Some of us, they begin to ride the wheel. And as much as someone is riding the wheel, they fear their process. Because death is still here in us. We become so much emotionally terrified when we fear the process. That category of fear is the fear of losing a life just like we fear losing someone that has lived amongst us. We feel we are so connected. And what death does, it becomes a master in our lives. It makes us happy. But it tells you every day, you got no power. You're powerless. You can't do anything. And we fear so much the separation of our loved ones. Whenever we feel someone has gone, there is an empty void. The very things. Our one says when someone is born, he brings in something. He makes a family complete. He makes a society. When someone dies, something is taken away. The society, the family, the community is ripped away. However, brothers and sisters, although we exist in the middle of these three fears, the fear after death. The fear of the presence of God and the fear of losing a life. Jesus came to give us victory over death. And this is what the Bible says. Do not be afraid. Jesus himself said, I'm the first and the last. I'm the living one. I was dead and now I'm living. I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and hate. And since I'm here today, Maybe mixed with the three kind of fears that death instills in us. I want to tell you this, that Jesus delivers us from the fear of what happens after death. The Bible says he is able to give us the virtue of having died for our sins. Having died itself, it reminds us that I have paid it all. And that's what we see in the song. Jesus said, Oh, to me, my Lord. Because he took the whole cross. In the process of dying, he reassures us that we don't fear because I am with you. And that Psalm 23 says, I shall fear no evil because you are with me. Then I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. The process is there, but Jesus comes in and he gives us that courage when we are facing death. One bishop in a happy church, Bishop Polycarp, stood before Nero one day and he was given this renounce your faith. And he stood before Nero and uttered the following words For 86 years I've served him, he has done me no wrong. You scare me with a fire that burns me for a while. And it's done. But you forget there is a fire in a time that awaits you. The process of dying becomes simple for us because Jesus sits with us. In Yeshua of the red victory over death. In the process of us having the fear of losing love someone like Brian today, the fear of losing a separation of loved one. Jesus says this words, allow me to read it, John 14, verse 9. Because I live, you will live also. We are not terrified because we know one day we will see Brian. For the Bible says, those who die in the Lord will resurrect once again. They will be with the king. We will all be a family again. We will lose our bodies today, but later on there is a family that one man, one day, went to buy a newspaper. And as he bought a newspaper, the newspaper was three, six months before. It was six months high. His father lived in the morning. But as he opened the newspaper, he read the first news, the headlines of the day. And he was terrified of what things that happened. 
He turns the spots. And so one of his favorite team, meaning. As he turned to the financial field, the business section, he saw there were businesses that were losing and some were gaining in exchange. Financial. And the guy who did it and said, ah, ah, I can invest and become a rich man again. He bought an example and said, if I buy shares of this company, I can invest and become rich. And he was seen delighted over what and the riches that lies ahead of him. He flipped the next page and saw the list of people who had died and long. His name and the name was found. It changed the whole soul. But he looked back and his hope was Jesus lost because he conquered death. And these are the words that I'm leaving you with today as we go As we face the fear of losing black one, the fear of the process of dying, and the, the fear of the after death. This is what I'm saying. Jesus gave us the power to overcome death. So we must trust him because he holds the keys of death and death. Number two, for us to conquer death, we need to believe in his precious promises. He says, I stand, and those who believe in me, the Bible says, no one will snatch them away from you. There is victory when we put our trust in him. There is victory when we rely on his promises. Standing on the promises of God, that no matter what happens, He gives us that. In the process of all the doubts that we have, we must learn this. But I believe and I love so much because I'm happy because most of the leaders that have stood, they have said it belongs somewhere. And I'm saying this we need to maximize our time with God and those that love us. If you have someone that loves you, give them your time. If you love the Lord so much, don't wait until your last day. Love the Lord and give time. Because this is what makes us a blessed thing. And finally, when the day comes and we all die, we will say, Blessed are those who will be walk with the Lord. Allow me to invite the family to stand up as we make up. Family, please, if you guys want to put money, I want to invite, I want to invite the, the minister to all us want to put a prayer for the family. If you guys can be a please, the family. Every 
We pray that you will help us to trust the Holy Spirit because you can. We leave the burden to you. And know this family is leaving the burden to you. And you will have it for them. And you will bless them and help them to have that trust. And God, God will not know the bodies of the shadows of death. Never know. Because you are sad, the Lord will give us the Holy Spirit. Thank you for so much to do. Bring us to the Father. Let's open this up because I want to write this to you. Let's just give a song. Come and sing a song. I want to invite you to come and sing a song. Let's just give 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 a song. Because of mine, because of mine, this is mine, and this is mine. How do you do the time of getting the song? Yes, just to listen to one side. Yeah, I like the, you know, the equity that my father has. Because the young people are not in the video. Atatuwa <laughs> Nita <laughs> Oh, 
Congoy, <laughs> The Babi Tugul, the Baka Baby, the Facebook, the Baby, the YouTube, a Baby Week, two big Jagami, Chajang, the Gatunanin, Kubunta, Kuki, the Chin, the Gabun, the Baby, the Light, the My Pole, the Big Tugul, the Western Australia, the Game My Pole, the Bara, the Big Omniab, and the Babi, the Baha, the Melbourne, Australia, the My Pole, the My Gongway, the Support Tugul, the Goba, the Water, the Water, the Lak Family, the Bunang Alert, the Nigisi, and the Tagging Go Bet, the Bet, and the Pran ke bia ko tireita ke na pole a a timi tukul ko ngete olimpa Sydney ko ngete ke bia berbe tukul olimpa Tasmania olimpa Brisbane agi met a America tu ki weji ko ngoi ingi tukul de kyo mo jo jeruke so support and family ere ko gini gis a ko isha na na gini ko sup ke aksa uti ka support de kyo ga di family a ko tu ki weji ko ngoi a na teseta ki te memorial ingu gina. I guess I said it and ended up going to be When we've been there ten thousand years, rushed by the I'll be reading to
supporting each other and have that unity of helping each other. I would actually say thank you so much. And I will be going to the uh, Brian's room. I'll start with some of The late Brian is going to be over the world with the final of the pandemic. So, Shalit King was the biggest point of the day. He was the son of the biggest son of the legacy leader in the game. He was the brother of the legacy So, to give you a couple of people, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Thank you very much. As I brought in the panel, I'm going to do it. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. 
Kongoi 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 bik chak tugul chego subech kongete taunet agoi saishek ab kura kisa gitu gate memorial service nega ba prada prayan kipia koti reita kongoi kipia berta olimba western australia kongoi bik tugul chego mucho wa engbe tuta brani sinigi goji tup jenya kisa isiret nende teng be tuta brani kia di memorial service ago tastai banda kwa olimba Kebun ini dah tahu yang bayi meta Kenya. Wigi na korang ke tu itu sih ke mi life ke streaming ni kongen tu yang bayi kah magut. Yang bayi kah konten apa wasing ke show. Bik tu kalau tu kau mi kah bayi bertanya bayi YouTube. Bik tu kau mi kah bayi bertanya bayi Facebook. Bik tu kau mi atau kau ke terjun. Bik tu kau share yang bayi tu tak berani. Hari mawa gitu ke dalam kau tiap kini kau ke streaming ni kau tiap ni kau tak agak tu kau. Macam ke streaming ni kau agak tu kau. Kau tak kau tu kau nak tu kau tengah bayi tu kau ni bayi bayi bertanya bayi meta Kenya. Kita awak kamera, cakap awak ni kebab berwek. Tukul cakap awak ni Australia, cakap awak ni orang bayi meta Kenya. Asta agak tukul, awak ni kong kui, kau awak tengok ni kong team, tengok tu tak berani. Nada kau kau duit tindai, nada DJ Swas Damo, nada kau awak tengok ni siapa yang tengok tu tak berani, kau ni korak nada DJ Amo, cakap awak musa awak nanti tak Brian, ah all the way kong ni tengok kebab bertani bayi meta Western Australia. Kong kui awak ni DJ Mibay. Loi Shiro asande sana watu wote ambao mmetufuatilia leo tumekuwa upande wa Western Australia kiwa memorial service ya our brother Brian Kibieva ambaye aliweza kupoteza maisha yake kupitia katika achali 
sisi tukiwa team ya Gerenet ita college bado tunasema pole Mwenyezi Mungu awapatie nguvu wakati wa sasa so moja kwa moja kutoka upande wa Western Australia hadi upande huu wa studio tunaenda kumaliza sasa na tunawatakia kila lahiri Mwenyezi Mungu awalinde awaongoze uh, kwa chochote ambacho mnafanya tupate uchumbe wa ufupi kutoka studio alafu tuitamati Asandeni sana maybe unless maybe our DJ is was dam ukiwa na neno maybe ukuje useme neno la pole kwa watu wanaotufuatilia ama amo ukuje useme pole alafu tuiweze kuimaliza uh, moja kwa moja kutoka upande huu so swas karibu useme pole hakisha amo pia ukaribia useme pole kwa fans wanaotufuatilia kwa upande wa Facebook alafu so swas karibu useme pole kwa wa fellow comrades all right thank you so much kwa kila mtu ambaye uko tune in um to the family and friends maze tunaishia tunasenda our condolence to the family and everyone uh tuna understand right now mnapitia um maisha magumu sana kupoteza mtu kijana shubafu kijana shubafu ambaye bado alikuwa anangojewa kwa community kusaidia family pia walikuwa anangojea kusaidia it's not an easy thing to understand like especially kama mtu ametumanishwa place kama hii alafu eventually anarudi nyumbani on that condition it's really painful because unajua watu wengi wanamtegemea so to the family and friends we wish you um to now send our condolence and may god comfort you this time until um, all this happens now just mkwetu na nguvu tu asanteni sana asante sana dj swaso tamu tutafutie wimbo ambao iliimbwa na rwanda fda rwanda wimbo wa kutia moyo swaso damu tutafutie wimbo moja na kisha amu hujiandaa ukuje useme pole yako kisha tutamaliza so karibu dj amu useme pole na kisha swaso tutafutie wimbo moja karibu karibu amu Eh uh, to the family and to the entire community of Western Australia. Naambia pole. Si kona jua the person. Lakini najua ni it's a bit hard. Lakini tuko pamoja kwa maombi. Poleni. Asante sana DJ Amo. Bado tunasema asante kwa watu wote ambao waliweza kusaidia familia kwa njia nyingine ama njia nyingine. Watu wa Adelaide asante sana. Viongozi uh, wote wa community ambao ulitoa hela yako kama ni kidogo kama kubwa tunasema asante sana. Hii mambo ina happen kama hakuna mtu ambaye amejiandaa. Tunasema pole watu wa Adelaide tunasema asanteni sana kwa kuweza kusaidia na kusimama na mwenzetu upande wa Western Australia na watu wote ambao waliweza kuchangia kwa njia nyingine ama nyingine ndugu yetu Daniel Metich ambaye pia ni mwenyekiti wa kadi sako upokee pole setu kutoka upande wa Adelaide South Australia na watu wote kutoka upande wa America upande wa Canada na sehemu zote twasema pole na pia watu wasikilizaji wetu ambao wanatufuatilia katika upande wa radio ya Kasafem kwa niaba ya Kasafem kwa niaba ya the, the entire crew of Kasafem uh, we are saying pole to our brother Frank Chipiego and our community of Western Australia and everyone who is undergoing a very difficult uh, condition at this time more so the family 2022 tulikuwa tumefuka mwaka hii tukitegemea mambo mazuri lakini pia hizi ni mambo ambayo inatupata kama tuko tayari so dj kasi kwako hadi tamati
Kaunti mbapo tunaenda kupata nduku wetu ana kibikana ya profesa Nkodema Asro. My name is George Washiri. I am so happy to see you and today I am here to enumerate to explain how we package our land investment and the way we package it is to ensure that uh, every single Kenyan can be able to purchase a piece of property, a piece of land depending on your pocket. We have five levels of our property and we classify these levels as one star two stars, three star, four star, and five star. This is what we mean, that if you buy a property that is one star with Optiven, one of the things that is evident, the property is cheaper, is below 
half a million. And uh, this particular property is basically bare land. We only do subdivision, put the beacons, and then produce titles. That is one star. The second level, we call it two star. This is prime land, whereby we grade the roads, we put a marking fence, do the beacons, and produce titles, and uh, this property is also not very expensive. It's slightly above the bare land. The third level, we call it three stars. This three star, it's value added plots. We do the malam, we do the water, we do the mesh fence, and there's a caretaker on site. It is called three star property. The fourth level is a four star. Foster is ready to build development. Foster is a property that is ready for you to start construction. We do very nice maram roads, we plant the trees, we put the water tower, we also put a caretaker on site and everything is ready for you to start construction. And then finally, this is our top of the top, the five star. The five star is premier, it's the top level. And this one, we do cabro roads, we do water management. <laughs> Don't get